read this fucking fairy tale to you. Oh man, it comes with a fancy ass book too. Wow, Dingo, you you really went all out here. Okay. Um. <coughs> Welcome to Strange Egg Story Time. Today we're going to be reading the user submitted folk story of Rivenka. Uh, et Eventir Omrevin. Uh, I could only presume that this is the Norwegian origin story to Darth Revan. Uh, spelt slightly incorrectly, but, you know, Norwegians were not known for their spelling. I'm pretty sure they're known for having things that are completely unpronounceable to people outside of their home language. Uh, here we go. Oyet var en gang in rev og unfrufinfrun som bode langt in i skogen i Ravenhust. Perfect. Uh... Rivi Houston, Houston, Texas, everyone's favorite place in Norway. Uh, let's try to figure out what the story is as I read through here. Uh, Devar Venner og Vern Forklift og Levid God I hop some parfok kan gjør. I see. Uh, so this is the tale of a forklift that needed to hop but he couldn't because there were too many folks in his way. That's the par folk is just the Norwegian way to say a group of people. Don't ask don't ask me if that's true or not because I know it is. Don't even argue if it is. Men savar that in dogen reven hade vart. See, this is why I fucking hate languages. Oh uh, the fuck does that mean? That's two letters that you glued together. You fuckers can't just glue two letters together and think that I'm not gonna notice. I hust in suit till bonden og der at hondrub og stop og detvar for my for him. Okay, so here, this second verse here is talking about a man, uh, what well, men, they, again, E's in Norway are, are A's. Right? So, like, Revan was spelled incorrectly. So this is supposed to say man. Just one singular. The man is trying to help the forklift remove the bond bonden. He's removing the bondage uh, of, of the forklift. He's being, like, held down by the weight of not being able to, to make his jump over the group of people. So what he's going to do is give him a rub down, like, like a friendly massage. And then also treat him to a luncheon of ham. This is the story so far, okay? Zyron the Gamer, hello my guy. You showed up to a stream that is not Skyrim anymore. You're <laughs> now we get to read Norwegian for fun. That's what's going on here. Sabrhan Syk Ogdod Ogelt Det Ravenmore Sorget Ograt. Okay, so what happened here is the story takes a really dark turn. Uh, so what happened here is there was a typo. This is supposed to say blood, but they really fucked it up. Like I said, Norway not known for their spelling. What happened is that the man who was trying to help the forklift encountered a group of vampires and ogres. This is what sorget means here. Uh, this, this is Ogre, right? And I assume Grot is, is, uh, Vampire. Uh, he got stuck in Rev Revamore, which is an old vampire ruin off the coast. Off the coast of Norway. Uh, and the blood here is the blood being spilt of the man. I presume the rest of the story is the forklift going to help him. So, now we can, now we can read the rest. Man devan ha kamet god a Jordan, o gromolet velvar over, satok det paf, komf fiertel enka. Okay, so this part of the story, very simple. Uh, he, the man was not killed right away. He's groveling. He's groveling before Enka, which is the mistress of the vampires. Um, Lord Descomf. Oh god, this is a big word. <clears throat> Hold on. Lior dog scoffin ben blanket that tree slug I dorn till Ravenhust. 
All right, so this is this man here, whose name is very long. Uh, this was actually supposed to be two words. Uh, they, again, they didn't put a space here. This is Lord Oxkinvinden, uh, Lord of Blankets. He's the Lord of the Orcs. Super cool. The forklift will come back in the story, I promise. I promise forklift will return. But the story right now is about man and how he groveled before them. This is just saying that it wasn't just the mistress. The Lord of Blankets was here as well. Ah, okay, so here's the best part, where the story becomes a song. Because there's certain lyrics that have, you'll notice they have these little, um, these little arrows here. Th that's because in Norway, the people over there only know how to sing to the beat of the cha-cha slide. The arrows actually indicate which direction you're supposed to cha-cha slide while singing. So you kind of need to, like, match the song to that. Now, I... Unfortunately, do not know the cha-cha slide by heart because I was not raised in Norway where their national anthem is actually just the cha-cha slide. <laughs> but I'll try my best to sing this this amazing section of the ballad of Forklift X-Man, the best folktale to ever live. A gotten dut. Du korsig. Okse hafte det ir. See, that's I'm trying my best to to do it like the cha-cha slide. <clears throat> this uh, song here by the way, is talking about Kors, which is the name that Forklift takes for himself. Because his friend Man was murdered by the Lord of Blankets and the Mistress of Vampires, uh, he remembered, Forklift hears of this, and remembers that Man loved nothing more in his life than horses. And because Man was killed, Forklift takes the K from killed, and the horses from horses, which is his, which is man's favorite animal, and he combines them together to form the name Corse, which is the name that he wants, and he won't he won't have a different name until he's avenged his friend. So, uh, so Ravenka, see, revenge is perfect, just like I said. Hun hade et kajat til jentensen jenka, og hun het Corse. Uh, this is just him, again, saying why he's taking his name. I kind of skipped ahead a little bit in the story. I've read this a few times. The jetta kom ut, sa stot det en bjorn patraka. That means he's going to track them down. Okay? That's the story we have so far. I love this fairy tale. This story is so right. Ooh, thanks, Dingo. I really try my best. I want Tony to say my language, too. This Tony cover of the cha-cha slide is not good. <laughs> I don't know how to do the cha-cha slide. I'm not a very musical man. I don't I don't pretend to know anything about music. I just happen to know about the cha-cha slide. God convert. That's just one word. I don't know why they would make one word a song. Um, that just seems unnecessary to me. Hilst Bjornen. God convert. Igjen. Sakors. So what this is saying here is that uh, this is saying, repent, says this man, to which Course responds, repent, these nuts. That's what Igjen means. It's because he's about to enter combat with this man here, Bjornin, who's one of the generals of Lord Agdenskenven, Lord of Blankets. Uh, just remember that Ig Igjen means these, these nuts in Norwegian. Nor Norwegians, whenever they're saying that to you, they're saying something extremely rude. That's like a question. They're being asked a question by like some sort of man named Hans, who is unfortunately... This says Sperte Han, which a lot like in, in sort of other language, like Japanese. In English, we like to do things in the order in which they happen. But because other countries are fucking brain damaged, they do things backwards in their writing, especially. Uh, what this is actually saying is Han is coming while asking them a question. Which I've heard in other countries is acceptable, but here in the States, we just don't. We just don't do that. Hun sitir ini svart genta. Now, svarting. If spurt is coming, 
You can only you can only imagine what Sparting is. It's it's from a hole very close to the location of the pee hole, but not quite where the penis is. If you catch my drift, uh, Genta is the twin of Han. By the way, they're they're t they're sort of half brother, half sister twins. Don't ask me how that works. In Norway, everyone is blood related. Everyone is twins in some strange back ass way. It's very weird. Their country is both beautiful and fucking disgusting at the same time. Vartar hun seg til eikevelt. Later, hun. El eller vel. Spirit Bjornen. So Bjornen, not not wanting to be outdone by neither Kors nor the two twins, comes a retort of his own, asking him if perhaps uh, they could engage later in conversation because he was just about to engage uh, Kors in combat. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work. Uh... Hun ser gær over hospins dot, og ver greta ser nessa ser ogto rod. Hun ver ikke ser de armen rad hun. Sak jeta. Now, uh, legitimately, this is this is a really important line in the story. Remember this part here. You see the word husband is here again. They spelt it incorrectly. It's because this character, Sketa is uh is asking to marry hun there's a lot of characters in this scene fucking keep track of the characters all right like pay attention if you don't pay attention you're gonna miss the story now bjornan is saying this is great this is jolly this is rad he says get married my guy and leave me alone <laughs> um we'll see how that goes Da kieta kom in, spert matorin, uh, mat matmorin, uh, this guy, he's a priest, and he's going to wed them. So, he's about to read what I imagine to be, uh, the, he's gonna tell them, you know, their, their, their shit. Uh, fim et der sum tasser ug bunker, pa, sa jeg ik, ma So, the th so remember how I said this was the priest? Uh, he's paid by the hour, and what he's saying here, through song, is, I heard your dad is a banker, where is my pay? You know? Because the, the implication is that, you know, Shieta up here is very wealthy due to her father being a banker, and the priest would like to be paid beforehand. This is, of course, extremely rude, but they do want to get- they do want to get married quickly, and uh, using the business triangle, which is uh, cheap, expensive, and, and fast. You know, if you have a lot of money, you can pay for something to be done fast. So the quality might not be great, but it will be done quickly. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out for them. Det er freiner dein, svart kejeta. She's saying, yes, my father is incredibly wealthy. Uh, that is true. Jeg skulle de dig ut ega skulle du fit godrad. What she's saying there is, unless this wedding is incredibly rad, and in, unless uh, your service is extremely rad, then you're not getting paid up front. That's you're you're not getting paid. I don't have trust in you. She says. Vahedlet har kufta. Spirit Riven Fruin. Uh, Riven Fruin is from the catering services. He's asking them what kind of kufta pastries they'd like. A very common food over there, kufta pastries. So that's, I don't know why that was included. That was probably, that should have been maybe towards the end, I'd imagine. Okay. Then Veke Bron, Swart Genta. Genta is not spelt correctly because it should it should say oh no wait now here he is i forgot that gento was already a character i'm i'm losing track of my mames at this point <laughs> ah god let's let's skip ahead right quick um where's my boy course i've been looking for course oh he's just he's right down here another few i would have got to him course gik borg ug lolit pa dorin ugsa uh this next section is course singing a little ditty about how rad being a forklift is 
And let me just skip ahead to where to where Course com comes back. Uh, here we go. Uh, Nay forest vile, driven fruin, weit have slogs, let kuf the hadl. Okay, so in this verse of the fairy tale, it is uh, Riven Fruin, in exchange for Kufta pastries, it, it, taking course through the vile forest so that he can find the Vampire Queen and the Orc Lord. To which Kors responds, Vin Vecker Grad Lonkrup Oak Lightpa. To which he's saying, God, I hate my dad. Which is probably the most relatable lyric in this entire song, if I'm being quite honest, TBH fan. Uh, let's just skip to the end, you know what I mean? Snip snap, snoot, savar, eventi ut. Which, I think that just speaks for itself. I think that really speaks for itself. That speaks, I feel like... I feel like the snip snap really starts off strong, and then ending with everything oot is really powerful. What this is saying is snip your enemies, snap your friends, snoot some boodles, uh, which means to like boop a dog on the nose, I'll boop you guys right here. Just like that. Uh, Savar, everybody oot. Everybody eat. Rub a dub dub, it's time for the grub. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on this lovely fairy tale journey. I didn't get to see any of your comments. <laughs> I wonder how Tony would sound trying to speak Portuguese. <laughs> see, that's funny because I am Portuguese. Uh, I'm, I'm half Portuguese. I'm 50% Portuguese. You'd think I'd do a better job at that, probably, but I guarantee you I wouldn't. Tony, should we all send you stories in our language and have you read them on stream? Yeah, maybe one of these days I'll just do a stream of reading funny stories. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, I'll see you on the next stream. Maybe this weekend we'll experiment with, with some reading streams. Who knows? I hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you next time.